Hello, continuing with the Matrix Goal Tools Month, today we will be talking about Matrix Goal Profiles. Profiles is a very important step when designing in Matrix Goal, so we want to show you the different options we can offer you when we are talking about profiles. I will start with the green rail because a profile always needs a reference. All right, we need a curve where we can attach this profile. So on this ring rail, what I will do is just add a profile. You can find the profile placer from the quick commands. Also in tools, we have the profile placer. So you can click it from any of these two different parts of matrix hall. So I will select the profile placer and very important. Now it is in the position zero. As we move it, you will see that we go to 0.5. If I click shift, I just snap it in the middle and I go up, up, up again to the zero position. So anytime that you want to place the profile on any specific position, you can go to the profile position and just click 0.75. So now I have it just here in the on the in the middle on the left side now if i want to place another one i just need to get close to the curve and i will see a white dot that this will be where i will be placing the next profile i click and now i'm just editing this one if i want to edit the first one the only thing that i need to do is just click on the white dot and now i have all the handles on this one so now i can make any change all right Something that it's very interesting about the profiles and because it's uh, parametric is that now I, that I have these two profiles here attached to this curve, anytime when I move the green rail, the profiles are always following the base curve because the profiles are always looking to one curve. Now, what happens if I go to the curve section and I actually just go to the smart curve and I start to do something like this? I will close it. So now I have this curve and now what happens if I say, look, I would like to have these profiles in this curve because everything is parametric. The only thing that I need to do is just go to the profile placer that I was showing you, click on edit, and I can change the input. Now I will say, I don't want the ring rail. What I want is this curve. So in just one go, you get the curves that you had here. All right. So this is something that it's very, very convenient. Many times if you are using profiles that uh, you want to be specific size, instead adding the profiles again, setting up the size for each profile, just change the, the input curve and you will get it. Actually, what I could do is select these two profiles. Now I have them selected and I will do Ctrl C, Ctrl V and you will see how I get a new profile placer. So now what I can do is just go to edit and change this one for the ring rail. So now I have the same size, the same settings for these profiles into the two curves. So this is a very easy exercise, but I think that it's very, very important and that you can use it many, many times when using the profile placer in your dynamic models. All right, uh, let me get rid of this. We will work now just with these ones. Let me go back to edit. I will place just one at the very top because now what I will do is use the profile editor. So we have what we call the profile editor that is just this, like there is like a pencil. Also, you can select it from, from here. So I select on profile editor. And what happens when you use the profile editor is that you have a real time profile editor. All right, so let me just do the auto sweep so you will be able to see the changes that we are making. Okay, so now I'll go this way. I don't know what would be the best view mode to see the changes, probably this one. So now I'll go again to the profile editor. I will do it from here now. I will just move it a bit to the right and now just look what happens in real time. I do like this and I get the same. I do like this and I get the same. If I want it more like this. So now I'm getting a nice ring, a new shape, just playing with these points. As you can see, you have different options, like the ones that we have in Rhino, and everything keeps parametric. And you can go as far as you want, right? So you will also be able to cut the curve and make it hollow if you would like. So let me show you how to do it. I will go and I will do just one curve and another one just here and now i can say that i want to trim it so trim select cotton objects this one and this one enter select curves to trim this one and enter now as you can see because this curve is open i don't have anything but what happens if i again use another from here to here and now i will use the trim again 
cutting objects now will be this curve, enter, and the curve to trim this one and this one. Again, now I have the ring, but if I go to the perspective, you will see that is hollow inside. As you can see, it's not solid because I didn't join all these curves, but the only thing that I need to do is just join, select curve to join, enter, and now I have a solid ring. Now I have more control here. If I would like, I could get these points and to make it even more hollow, I would just need to move it like this. And now, as you can see, I have this hollow part. I can save it in my library. So I just need to click on save and then I can just go validate. All right, so there we go. And still, I can go back to the ring rail, make any change. It is always following the same profile. I can go back to the profile placer. Now, if I want to make it bigger, I can make it bigger. And in case that I want to make any change, I can go back to the profile placer and I can make any change that I want. All right. So this is just about the profile placer. And then also something that I would like to show you is the import file. Just say that we want to create our own profile. So I could go and I could make something. I will start from the center. I will do something like this. And then I will create another one. I will make it smaller just to show you what you can do. All right, so now I'm creating my own profile. I will trim it. Trim. I will trim this and this. And I will join now. So I have this tool that it's called join. So now I have now this curve. Let me just hide this one and show this one. So now I have this curve that I have created. If I want to import it and use it to this ring, what I can do is two different things. The first one is I will go to where I have the profile placer. I will go to edit and I can do it from the profile editor. So I go to the profile editor and I will say, I want to import from Rhino this curve. And now, as you can see, I have two curves here. The only thing that I need to do is get the original one. Just let me move here so you can see that what happens. So I get rid of this. And now automatically what I get is the one that I just made in Rhino. Again, you can now make it thinner. So now you can play with the one that you have just here. All right. So you also have points if you want to make any change. So anything that you want to do, you can do it from here. So this is how you can import a profile from the profile editor. Also, what you can do is just make again another profile. Now I will do again, I will use the smart curve. I will do something more freeform, something like this. So now that we have this profile, what I can do is just add it from the add profile to library. So I have it either in the quick comments or also you can find it in the curve tab. So I will click add profile. In the comment line is asking me, select the curve to add to the profile library. This is the one. And you see, because I didn't choose where I wanted, now I am adding it for bales. I don't want to add this profile to the bale because I want to use it in this ring. So I will cancel again. I will click again on add to prof profile to library. And this is the profile. And you see now in this step, I need to go here and select on what library do I want it. I want it for the shanks because I want to add it into the shank. So I click enter, enter to fix the curve because sometimes depending on the, what geometry the curve has, we fix it internally. I will add here a name. I will call it video curve. I already have one in this. <laughs> this is a name that I use very often, but yes, save. We want to write yes, so I will write it, no problem. And now what I can do is, you see, the, the, we fix the curve because the scene was in the wrong position and we internally we have just uh, fixed it. Okay, so now the only thing that I need to do is just go to the profile placer and what I can do is just go to the profile placer, edit, and now I can go to the library and you see this is the one that I saved before. 
and this is the one that I'm using for this example. So I select and there we go. Now I have just this profile for this ring. So you can play a lot with the profiles. Uh, you can make your uh, own ones. You can edit them in the profile editor. And the last thing that I would like to show you is what happens if you have a matrix and you have already a lot of profiles. Well, you can go to the matrix, legacy matrix migration wizard, and here we have legacy matrix profiles folder. When I click here, I can select from what folder do I want to get them. Now I'm interested with the one from the Shang. So let me look what is it. It's in the Bronx profile placer. This is the one that I want. Profile placer and import. And now I'm importing all the profiles that I have from Matrix. So this is very convenient because you will get not just the ones original from Matrix, also you will get any profile that you have done and you will import it to Matrix Call. All right, so now all the profiles has been import. Now again, what I can do is just go to the profile placer and if I go back to the library, you will see it now it's thinking because we have added a lot more. So uh, as you can recall from the last time I opened this, uh, I had up to here. So look how many do I have now. And all these ones are the ones from Matrix. So anyone who had Matrix before can import all the profiles. These are the, this is the last one that I, I did. So now you have a lot more options. So you can select any of those, select, and the change happens automatically to your ring. All right, so as I said, this tool is one of, the, I would say, the most used tool, profile, placer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.